What's up guys, Turco Live here, and in this video, I wanted to make an updated version of the Chrome black screen that you encounter in OBS Studio. As my last video for this was back in 2018, 2019, and it's a little outdated. And essentially what happens is you have a black screen and there's nothing you can really do about it. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into the tutorial and I'll show you exactly what to do. Now you have a couple different options. You can choose to do display capture or you can choose to do window capture. Now display capture shows everything that's on your display. So they will see that as well as your internet browser, or you can just do the window capture if you don't want everybody to see your display as well. At the time of this recording in October, 2021, it looks like OBS's current version automatically pulls in Google Chrome, but no stress. I'm gonna still hash out the process for you in case it is not showing on your OBS. Now, once you're in Google Chrome, what you need to do is you need to go up to the three dots in the upper right corner and go down to settings. Now, once you're at settings, it's changed up since my last video that I did back in 2019. It's actually over here on the advanced tab right here. And then you need to go down to system. Okay, once there, you need to mess with this setting right here. Use hardware acceleration when available. Right now it's checkmarked and then you need to relaunch it once you have it uncheckmarked and then it'll relaunch the entire application. Once you have followed those steps to relaunch Chrome, you can go back to OBS and click the plus within sources and go to window capture. Click okay, and then it'll put a yellow border around Chrome indicating that it's being selected. And as you can see here, it's now being shown up on the OBS and you can resize it, do whatever you have to, and it's fully set up. If this video did provide you value, make sure to hit that subscribe button. A huge portion of people that watch my content are not currently subscribed. So definitely would help out the channel for the growth and for the future, because I always release gaming content, gaming tutorials, everything in that regard. Other than that, guys, you take care and I'll see you in the next video.